Morning, everybody. All right, so I'll be talking about the uh, ACR, the anterior column realignment uh, for spinal deformity. Um, first, just disclosures, uh, I do consult for nuvasive, and ACR technique is uh, a nuvasive uh, technique. And then next is um, what's extremely relevant, which some may call biased, is that I trained at the San Diego Center for Spinal Disorders with Dr. Barnia Mundes Islak, who uh, wrote the uh, technique paper um, on ACR. So, you know, what I, exactly, I was, I was given this talk and I was going to sit here and I said, okay, I'm debating Dr. Ron Lehman, Lieutenant Colonel in the Army, has over 120 peer-reviewed publications, I got like five. He's program chairman for the SRS, CRSRS, LSRS, NE, Spine Society, and most of the time I'm just simply an attendee. He's a consultant to the White House, and I was like, man, how am I going to debate this guy? But you know what? I'm a gangster fool. <laughs> Can I go back one? So next is we're talking about the pedicle subtraction osteotomy. I mean, I love three-column osteotomies. Okay, I'm going to say that right now. Nothing gets me more excited in the morning than coming in to do a PSO or a VCR. I just everybody knows you hear that. Woo! You know, in the morning, I'm I'm excited about that. And you know, it's a great technique when you don't have disc spaces unavailable and it's great for pelvic tilt correction. You know, I mean, I get excited, and this is my one thing from, I'm from LA, and my plug for Kobe, RIP baby. You know, it gives you that Mamba mentality when you're coming in for a PSO. But however, so why do we go anterior? You know, it's really the reason why we use inner bodies in general, and why we do lateral uh, fusions. So we want to get correction and lordosis. We want biomechanical stability increase the surface area for fusion and to decrease subsidence. You can get indirect decompression on it. And, you know, honestly, I think it's a matter of personal preference when you're able to do both. Like, let's take Jennifer Lopez here, you know, anterior, posterior. Um, do you like her for her singing or acting? Um, so we'll see, you know, that's, uh, and the plug tomorrow, she'll be uh, the halftime uh, uh, performance uh, this Sunday, so check her out. So. The ACR uh, is described as a focal kyphotic, uh, a minimally invasive technique for um, treatment of focal kyphotic spinal deformity using a lateral transoas approach and an anterior longitudinal ligament release. So the advantage is, again, you're able to use the disc space. Um, it is a fixed correction. So you're using an inner body when they're there, and I know uh, uh, Ron said that you get 12 degrees, but I, I, I would argue with that. It just depends on the size of the inner body that you're using. You'll probably be, get about one half of what the lordosis of the implant is, unless you do a posterior column osteotomy, and then you'll get closer to uh, the implant, about 75% of the degrees. And the next most important thing is that there's less blood loss. Um, that's the big key with this. If you can do both, this has a lot less blood loss. And ACR had significantly less blood loss. So 1.6 liters to 3.6 liters. Now, when you look at that, you're like, well, Greg Mundus loses a lot of blood. But in the end, it's just, there's, a, there's a significant difference there. Um, and the complication profile was equivalent. So in summary, uh, ACR is a minimally invasive technique to uh, correct spinal deformity. Um, I didn't go into this, but I think it's something that needs to be reserved for the mid lumbar spine, doing at the thoracal lumbar junction, um, can induce uh, PJK. There's similar radiographic results to uh, PSO, and there's significant blood loss, less blood loss with the ACR compared to a PSO. So you think of a two liter right here, a big red, that's how much blood you're saving or not losing. So if you need to correct a sagittal deformity and had the ability to do either approach, what would you do? Thank you.